So this morning I'm heading over to Butte. Uh, should take about an hour to get there. I've got some blood work to be done and should be a quick there and back. I'll probably stop at Walmart. So that's what I'm doing today. on a little bit of soapbox here um, the reason I'm going to Butte is I'm getting a test done to prove that I've had all of my immunizations as a child and so I've been jumping through hoops for the last two months trying to get a hold of those records I've called the CDC the Texas Health the hospital I was born in everybody that I could think of to try to get these immunization records just so that I could prove that I've had them so I could enroll in school. So it's just been a pain in my rear end trying to get a hold of these. Um, and my biggest question is, it's like what happens when the anti-vaxxers and those who don't vaccinate and all that stuff try to enroll? Nothing against them, but what is the school gonna do whenever those type people try to enroll into school? Are they gonna say no to the possible revenue from those people because they're afraid that the other kids are gonna get rubella or something? Or one of the poxes, I don't know. But it's been a pain in my rear end trying to get a hold of these things just so that I can enroll into a university. So it's just grinding my gears. So we made it here to Butte, made some decent time, hit some construction zones, but I made it here to the Care Here facility here in Butte where I was getting my tests done. And so apparently, apparently, my test is on was on Monday, yesterday. And so today, Tuesday, she said I'll have to reschedule for two days from now on Thursday. So I'll end up driving about a hundred miles today just to reschedule an appointment. I don't feel like going to Walmart. I'll just uh, not go to Walmart and then now I can drive home and listen to a podcast or something. <laughs> <laughs> 